first and foremost, all praises, honor, glory due to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn, to you, Shalom. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of His only begotten Son. All right, I'm the brother Yasharala. I'm with the brother Saint Benji. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick in transit while we head to camp. All right, going into the uh, the famine of the word. All right, because that's a, a prophecy that's going to uh, come to pass in the near future. All right, um, what's that, Amos, the eighth chapter? It says, um, con. and we, hey, we see that happening right before our eyes because you can't even say uh, the, the MOTB from Revelations 13. And 16, you can't even say that because it'll take your cha your channel down. You can't say uh, certain words. What's going on with the scandemic because it'll take your channel down. Got it? Yeah, it's Amos 8 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, and I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Right, so there's going to be a famine. Of not not a food of, of water, but of hearing this word, which there's going to be a famine of that as well. All right, but um, it's going to come a point in time where you're not going to be able to go online, watch videos, or the men of the Lord ain't going to be out in the streets teaching because what's going to be happening? All hell's going to be breaking loose. All right, there's a what's that in Amos five? I think it's the N thirteen where it says the prudent man. Um, the men of the Lord ain't going to be out here during uh, martial law, all right? When the internet shut down, it ain't going to be the word going out. The word's going out now. This is Amos 5.13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Right. And um, the prudent ones are the men of the Lord being able to foresee the, the evil, or basically foresee ahead uh, in the future and pretty much make a, a profitable decision what's what's going to benefit you and what's not it's not going to benefit the men of the lord to go out during martial law jacob's trouble holding up camp all right when there's fema troops and esau and these other wicked uh two-third israelites out there bugging out all right ecclesiastes third chapter tells us what there's the time for all things mm -hmm. and jeremiah 16 let's know right now we, we fishing for men you know that's our duty right. Then it said at some point those fishes turned to hunters. That's right. It is what it is. Even Matthew 25, it goes into the, the ten virgins. The five wise, the five foolish. Then it came a point where the, the foolish came and said, look, we need some oil. It said, go go, go to the market and get it, man. Yup. All right, it's going to come a point in time, like it says in the Believe Ezekiel, if I can find it. It says, uh, our tongues will cleave through five miles, man. I think it's two or three. Maybe the third yeah, chapter. Third chapter. It's Ezekiel 3. And verse, um, oh man, I'm going to start at 24. Then the spirit entered, entered into me and set me upon my feet and spake with me and said unto me, go shut thyself within thy house. Now this is happening to Ezekiel, but you know, like it says in Romans 15, 4, things written the first time, written for our learning. Mm -hmm. Wisdom Solomon 7 touched these, this word, uh, enters into all generations to the, the, uh, the prophets and the priests, man. We make your friends the prophets of the Lord. So this this wisdom is uh, manifold, is renewed. And I will make that it's like, But thou, o son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. And, will, and, and that's the bottom line. They're going to be coming to look for the prophets. We're not going to be out there to make the job easy at that point. We out here now. We're doing our job. You know, but that's that. When, it, when, that, when the Lord shut that door, the door shut. And I will make thy tongue cleave. To the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to them a reprover, but they are a rebellious house. The word is gone out, man. Hey, what's it say in uh, 
Isaiah the first chapter. Why would you be stricken anymore? Now it's going to be the time of destruction for you, the evil time like we read in Amos 5. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say to them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. So the Lord is going to make this thing more scarce, man. He tells us when to speak, and he's going to complain when he's shutting our mouths to um, a lot of the people. Because we're still going to be speaking spiritual things amongst each other. Right. All right, maybe some people that came in, you know, come in at that last hour, we're going to still speak things with them. All right, but to everybody, it's going to be shut, man. It ain't going to be open like this. Yeah. What's that? Uh, I think it's in uh, First Samuel's. Where it talks about the precious, the Lord, the word of the Lord was precious in those days. Uh, yeah. You know, and that's what it's coming back to. Like the brother quoted that Romans, the 15th chapter, where it says the things written the fourth time are read for our learning. You know, it's been the, the word of the Lord was precious back then in Samuel's time. Why? Because there wasn't no open visions, really. You know, they were waiting for the Lord to, to reveal to them things that were going to come to pass. And that's what is going to happen again. Y'all are going to be. Trying to uh, for the ones who don't take heed, you're gonna be like, man, what them dudes talking about? Man, we need to figure this out, and it's, it's gonna be too late. Right. It's Isaiah 55 and six. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while he is near. There is such thing as too too little, too late. Proverbs the first chapter says they're gonna call upon the Lord. Yo. You know, in, the, in that day of calamity, they're gonna seek him early. So when his destruction starts, that's gonna be too late. You've been warned about these things. It's no longer based off faith. Now you see what's happening. Now you just want to. Right. It's like when you your parents say do something. All right, you scoff what you want to do. Then they finally come with the belt. Now it's oh, I'll do what I do. It's too late. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ain't no hopping on the bandwagon. Last when your team gets knocked out the tournament, you can't change jerseys up and try to hop on the bandwagon. Right. It don't work like that. You know the Lord looking for the. Uh, for you to serve him now seek ye the lord now where he may be found you know and um hey th this is all rolling out in the near future if you can't see these things are gonna happen to come to pass the lord is not dealing with you all right because here it is we got we're we're in the information age you can look things up you know but the, the problem is that you know, a lot of people don't don't like to do research Especially two thirds of the nation of Israel, our people, you know, um, they don't they don't like to read. All right, and this is uh, like the brother Mur says, it's a microwave generation. They want everything uh, right then and there, and the Lord don't work like that. You know, you got to serve Him, and in due time, you know, He'll start. You'll start seeing it. See, we we through the scriptures, we see these things coming to pass. All right, and one thing that's going to come to pass is the, the, the famine of the word. All right, get it while it's hot. You know, you got anything? Yeah, um, this is St. John 9 and 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Which, you know, was that, you know, we had to come to that great falling away. Nobody's going to work. But through the Spirit applies now because the Lord said the day of the Lord is day of darkness and not light. You know, it says they slumber, slip, slumber the nighttime. All right, when, when this hell breaks loose, when the Lord let go, uh, hey, Revelation is a perfect example. It called on Yahweh Shemel Shai. What would be the point of the prophets prophesying and warning once the destruction has happened? It's no longer warning. It's too late. It's happening. It says the angel released those four winds when the elect was sealed. If the elect is sealed, what's the point of still teaching? Once we fully sealed and, you know, the elect can be sealed, we still got to get brought up to the full stature. So, you know, you got to keep teaching one another. But once we reach that full stature, what's the point of still going out there before the public? It's, it's, it, it'll be no point. The destruction is already happening. Yeah, it's like the uh, the second covenant. <laughs> it says nobody's going to have to teach you how about shit me how it shine no more. You know, that, that's going into the second covenant. But it's going to be the same thing with this word. Like, what's the use of a siren once, the, you know, the tornado comes through and the siren didn't even go on to warn you to take shelter? Know? But um, hey, like it says in Isaiah, seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read. None of these shall fail. It is going to happen. <laughs> His word is not going to come back void. All right, and and that was that was a prophecy that was written in there. And there's going to be a famine of the word. And then, hey, for the ones who 
they do the little clown emojis and you know think this is a joke or the jokes seem to be on you all right so yahweh willing this was edifying with that and to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh ba'ashim yahweh shai ba'ashim rakar kodash all right till next time shalom